We're going to segue into the draft for match two. This time, Von Menace with their backs up against the wall. Rome, what are you looking for in this draft? In this draft, I want to see Von Menace securing themselves an early game composition. So if they were able to do that, like they take out the whole factor where last game, their comp was so passive that they had no chance of actually fighting back mid-game. Because like Gangstars took their advantage early and they pretty much snowballed throughout. The gold difference was big, the items were big, levels were big, and that made a big difference on any chance of having a comeback. Hafu, that gets that much harder when they will not be able to use Fortress as the cornerstone. No, I <laughs> think Rome is quite happy to see this ban, correct? Very good on the Gangstar's Vegas side, in my opinion. And the Kashka gets taken away, and I think that's a really good ban, although this leaves Rona and Glaive open. Um, so, yeah, like I said earlier, with Von Menace wanting to come back, win the second game in order to bring it to the third, they're going to need to try and secure themselves a stronger comp either in the jungle or in the lane where it makes a difference instead of going all passive throughout. So hopefully they're able to pre-organize this, make a plan out, either securing anything in the jungle or in the lane as long as it's, uh, it's a given advantage before uh, that match actually starts. And Von Menace, when they were winning again and again, it was with quite a bit of aggression. They really just were confident doing what they wanted, and we haven't seen that in these last few matches. Definitely. Um, it's always something to work on. Like Every time you lose a game, or especially a big game like this, you just look back, take the experience, and build towards like a better future. Okay, it is Arona out of Gangstar's Vega this time, Hafu. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Rona time and time again be really powerful. And the only times that we've seen Rona get shut down is really by the Kashka, which is now gone. So now, you know, what really challenges Rona? If you don't have the Fortress or the Kashka to shut down that early game, I mean, do you think Glaive can really match up to the Rona? Glaive actually has a difficult time with the Rona, and it's pretty much because they're both a little bit passive and having to like farm a little bit of items, especially getting like a breaking point. But with them picking like two heroes like this is a great counter for Rona. And it really helps out their kit where like, you know, at such a disadvantage with Arden being able to use that extra mobility from the Vanguard to like reposition his players. Uh, Vaughn, this group of Chinese players living in America. Such pride we launched in China not too long ago. A massive launch rising to the number one app in China. Not even game, but app. And uh, they travel well, too. It appears the fans are really behind them, really proud of them, hoping that they can turn this around in game two as we wait for the Gangstars Vega pick to come in. And it is Celeste and Catherine. That's pretty pretty bold to go wow. ahead and take the comp that Von Menace just lost on. And it's almost like a slap in the face, right? Like, oh, you lost with it? Let me just show you how it's done and secure that comp. Interesting, Rome. What do you think about it? It's actually a very good comp, although it's a bit more on the passive side. But because Koshka and Fortress is no longer in the picture, Von Menace is pretty much dependent on like maybe a Glaive to like carry out the rest of the game. And is that a Fuji Celeste or an old school Celeste? Old school Probably. Celeste. No? Looks like this could be a Fuji Celeste. Really? Old school. No. <laughs> Hafu might not get what she wants, but Von Menace does with the Ringo. I, I actually like that pick. Having Ringo does help him a lot, and it gives him that extra range. So he doesn't have to fight in melee range with the Rona. All right, so we haven't seen a lot of Ringo. It, that will certainly be fun to see. And Von Menace, have they lost a game with a Scarf? Their Scarf is so good. Very true. Um, well, in general, like, all their hero pool is very good. It's just how they're going to, like, come back together from all these losses today, how they're going to try and stay on focus, try and be on point, and how they're going to execute these team fights. They are certainly a team with the necessary quality to send this to a match three. It's just whether or not they can kind of mentally pull it together now in the clutch happen. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to dig down deep for this, but I, I'm sure we'll have a great match here. They certainly have the maturity as well. I believe the oldest average age of any team that is here. They'll tap into that, they'll pull it together, and we'll find out what happens. Let's go to our casters for this next match. All right, thank you, Playoff Beard. I'm Tasty Bacon, joined once again by Fourth Court Jester. And we are getting set for game number two of Von Menace versus Gangstars Vega. Gangstars with a confident <laughs> composition deciding, you know what? When this is the that, team you just played. Oh, We're going to try and now beat you with it. Well, uh, yeah, something to be said. Like Now, if they pull it off, 
now you can definitely go up and say, well, that's how you do that. And you shake your hands, you go home $1,500 richer <laughs> and third place. But, uh, you know, there's something to be said, though. When you do a copycat comp kind of like this, it's very hard to kind of pull it off against your opponents because they just played it or they made it and they know exactly how to play around it. Mm -hmm. uh, but the biggest story here for me is that Vaughn Menace, this is the first time they're out of this comp. Uh, so there's no Celeste, there's no Catherine. It is actually going to be that scarf. And would you believe it's Von C on the scarf? Yeah, there's actually a lot of move speed manipulation from Von, as we have obviously the scarf with the goop, you have the Achilles shot from Ringo, and of course the move speed from Arden. So they, they have the utilities to kind of get away from the stuns, you know, out, out kite the Catherine, run away, away from the core collapse. But meanwhile, in this lane, Von and uh, Love Ice Forever and Old School are really going at it. Well, I mean, this is what Ringo needs to make happen. He needs to be able to get off that harass because you know that old school is just going to have a heck of a time, though, with those heliogenesis. But if they can actually keep down that Ringo or vice versa, keep down the Celeste, you're going to see a huge power difference in there by the middle of the match. But Gangstar and Vega, they're very confident here with their early. They're right on top of Von C, but we do got some of those scout traps now going down. Von C's getting a ton of damage here on top of Wreck. The core collapse came out, though, and Von C, well, he will trade it with that last Spitfire. But... That collapse had to make that happen. And now, you know, Fuji, he's there with Phoenix. Is Phoenix actually going to try to fight that? Well, he's not that confident yet. He is level one against the two Rona. But uh, that could have actually went much worse for Von Menace. Yeah, and Von was actually very confident in that fight. Old school rotated down. Love Ice Forever stayed in the lane. Yep. Love Ice now has a, you know, it's a small CS lead, but it's, we're very early on. And that small CS lead can get snowballed. So a slight advantage now for Lovis Forever on this Ringo as he keeps peppering uh, old school with Achilles shot and crits. But it's all about the jungle for this matchup. So one thing that you could look at here is that if Gangstar's put any kind of pressure in the lane up against that Ringo, I mean, they had that guaranteed stun with the Catherine. Uh, now, usually when you see the Celeste, she has been actually very pressured, you know, Glaives and Catherines and all that. Uh, just coming up, stunning her, putting her out of position. We don't actually have to worry about that this round with the Celeste, but I'm curious to see if we will see any kind of bigger pressure on the lane from Gangstars because they do have that setup for, uh, you know, Celeste, for Fuji to kind of collapse. And all Ringo can really do is just twirling silver and run. Yeah, and they are going to be now sending everyone down to get to the shop, get some items built up. It is going to be the weapon power Ringo. And now Ooh. Fuji is looking to trade into Love Ice Forever. Well, I'm not entirely too sure out. he's looking to trade. He's looking more to, to run, at least in my eyes. Core Collapse is not going to get hit either. But Fuji, he really needs to make an exit here onto the scene. Vonsi is being supremely aggressive on this one. But big fireballs. The Goop's going to go down on top of Old School. Fuji actually, I think, got baited into that. He jumped right in. Old School went the other way. And that is going to be a kill now for Von Menace. And Vonsi's not even stopping. He's going straight in here and direct. The Phantom Flames damage is just doing phenomenal work. Phoenix was setting up the back here and Gangstars is not looking at all like the early game they saw last round. Yeah, it looks it's almost like the team swapped because now it's Vaughn who's making these really aggressive early plays and picking up a couple of kills to start the game off. That jungle scarf, man, like we've seen scarves, but mostly, uh, I want to say, in lane yesterday. There were a few mm -hmm. in those jungle. But again, like when you play the comp that your opponents just lost with, they're going to know how to, you know, what the weaknesses was. They just lost with it. Uh, so Love Ice Forever here into this lane. Ringo, he's feeling all right. His creep's now up to 27. Old School actually is sitting at 25, believe it or not. But he's going to just get, like, so much damage on top of Fuji right there. Yeah, Fuji really can't do a whole lot in that lane because of the massive range advantage. Love Ice Forever can just keep peppering oh. him with these shots. Another Achilles shot going out. And of course those automatic crits, whenever Ringo kills a, a unit, a done. minion or a another anything. hero. Kills anything. Yeah, if he kills <laughs> anything that moves on the on the Halcyon unfold, he gets a guaranteed crit on his next attack. So he is just peppering the damage on Fuji. But now we see an invade in the jungle. Yeah, a little bit. Wrecked, he's going to get that stun on top of Von C. But Old School's right there. Here comes Fuji. He's not going to get hit by that scout trap. He really wants to take down this Scarf. But Scarf has so much armor. It takes a long time to make that happen. Now Old School, he's not looking so good. And Ringo is stutter stepping to his way to his victory. And Fuji can get one more hit. But he can't. The Arden comes in for the save. And they do take down the Barbarian. Now it's Wrecked. And the stutter set. Love eyes forever with all this damage. And the minion mine as well it is working out well and that is von menace with more kills but the minion mine cannot get the last shot on love eyes forever yeah especially now with art in there to provide that shield and von 
It looks like whatever they were talking about between games was definitely something that was positive for them because they look significantly more comfortable in game number two here. You know, maybe it's it was just something like, let's just not do that again. <laughs> or something like, you know, hey, realizing that it's okay that they lost the previous game. And I think it may have just been the fact that they were still possibly just distraught after losing the semifinal, but they've rebounded definitely after game one of this third place match and are now sitting on a five to two kill lead and almost a 2,000 gold lead. Yeah, uh, 18, 1400 caster mass, somewhere around there. But, you know, Von Bennis, as you said, looked definitely a little bit better. They're a, bit, a lot more recomposed. And wow, old school. I uh, could then just go right under this. The core collapse says no. Three man core collapse on top of the Love Ice Forever. That Fuji coming in at the back of that turret shot was a huge deal right there. Now Von C, he's going to try to kite this one out, but he will have Art there to help. Will that be enough for Phoenix to get out? And it will, because the turret is there, but this could actually be a good opportunity for Gangstars to hit the mine. Yeah, definitely could be the gold mine going over, and it looks like Rekt has started that one up. A huge, huge core collapse from old school in that lane, stunned all three members of Vaughn and was able to turn that one around. Oh, Fuji that for blood, he finds Von C there in that uh, front, but here comes the dragon fire. Fuji's just gonna try to life steal through it with that red mist, the gold mine is still there. Catherine will pick it up and Von C will take down the Rona. So, you know, mission accomplished, but they did have to pay for it. A really nice re-engage here from Phoenix and crew, but you know, back to that turret. I don't oh, think they can chase this one down. Oh, the Hellfire got direct right in the bush. He goes down. Surprised he didn't light it on fire himself. A nice 2-0 then, or 2-1 for Von Menace. Yeah, great heads up play from Love Ice Forever to recognize oh, that no he way. had the okay. ultimate in range and got that one off to pick up the kill and answer that one. Uh, but again, the gold mine did go nope, over too. No, oh my no, goodness, Love Ice Forever. Old school just sticking away too long. Oh, one more shot, doesn't get it. Love Ice Forever on the skin of his teeth. Yeah, nice kill from Love Ice Forever. That it's so calculated to just be able to go in for that turret dive. The confidence needed to go in for that kill and then be able to get out. Because if he gets killed there, the, the turret dive is pretty much pointless. And now Phoenix is the one who has to run away from Fuji as Rona is starting to get some damage under her belt. All right, four kills to Love Ice Forever, three sitting on uh, Von C. Von C did actually pick up that early piercing shard, but like some of that damage now, six sins, heavy steel. We're getting to that point where Love Ice Forever will get that tier three, but he did actually take the time for that reflex block, and that's going to be very key for him. Yeah, the first item, first complete item for old school is also the frost burn, just to try and help to slow down the move speed increases yep. or Kite. slow down when they they get slowed themselves. But the entire everyone is just going to be slowed in every fight. As now they're speaking of a fight. Yeah, we do got that minion candy, but Rek can't seem to get him involved. Rek taking a heck of a lot of damage. Fuji with the red miss. It's going to be enough for Scarf. Can he get the double? He will trade it two for one. Now it's just Love Ice Forever, but Rek I don't think can re-engage this one. But he's going to try. Barrier going forward. He just does not have the move speed to catch up to Love Ice Forever, and he will actually survive through that. Despite the minion candy on the gold mine, they couldn't get him involved, but still not a bad trade for Gangstars at all. Yeah, two for one. They're now going to move up to the lane. Not going to get a whole lot of damage on the turret because everyone has already respawned. And this is kind of the problem for them. They they got the fight, but they got nothing afterwards. They're still behind by 1,200 gold, despite the fact that they've had the gold, they got the gold mine, and they're waiting for that to pay out, obviously. But, you know, when you win a, winning a fight is great and all, but if you don't do anything afterwards, if there's nothing to be gained after the fight is over, then it doesn't actually give you any sort of advantage. Well, it's about uh, 1,300 gold or so between the teams right now. Still a very close differential. Still could go either way. The Von Menace is going to be holding the kill lead on this one. But as you said, I mean, the, the sieging aspect hasn't really been there. The only big objective that's taken is the gold mine. And that was once. We're go probably going to see a lot more candies. You see two of them there on Wrecked. Uh, so that gold mine, the Gangstars are very interested in keeping that. And that 900 gold will go a long way to bridging that gap. Yeah, right now both teams on the opposite sides of the mine, opposite sides of the map. And it looks like Gangstars are going to be looking to collapse and try and pincer them in. Uh, well, uh, they're going to be too little too late to save the turret. We even have the gauntlet going down. It does stun out Wrecked, and they make sure that they can get this turret. Big silence goes down. Phoenix is about half. We do got the Dragon's Fire now going there as well. Love Ice Forever still ticking. Wrecked is actually still out. The Gangstars itself is actually phenomenal. We trade out the ultimates. 
on the back. Ringo for Celeste, but now if Rex is going to take all this, and he will, but it's all for Fuji. They got the pings. They're going to go for this Von C kill. Can he dodge it out? Do we have that into the fray? It is off cooldown. He is ready to go, but Von C is chaining way far away. The leap in and the hit. Fuji is going to grab it, and that is not the ace because of the delay, but it is three kills in the pocket. I think seeing the uh, the Celeste and Ringo ultimate just trade, trade out. may have been one of the best <laughs> things I've seen in a while as they both just got it off in time in order to secure the kill on each other. Goldminer is about to pay out and Gangstars, they're still behind by 2,000 gold despite winning the last two fights. That is going to be evened up a bit here in a few seconds with the Goldminer, but again, they got another fight there and got nothing off of the end of it. Well, with that gold miner, 900 gold, I mean, that's a fairly significant payout. But if you look at the creep scores between the teams, it's definitely stronger numbers towards Von Menace. They've been in lane longer, and they have, you know, actually pushed down that turret as well. That's a big uh, payout for them. Uh, so 9,000 to 11,000, again, that payout coming out. It's still pretty much anybody's game. These fights might be leaning one way or the other, but they're coming out fast and furious. And right now, look at this poke. Von C is securing the fact that they can't really re-engage on, on top of this one. It would have been great 30 seconds ago when they could have actually taken the gold mine, but now there's really no point. And Love Ice Forever, it's one of his first games. It's the first game today that he hasn't played the Celeste and almost makes you wonder why he hasn't moved away from that hero more the because this Ringo work. is doing so incredibly well. 88 to 76 CS for the two laners, but he is 6, oh. 2, and 3. All right, Helio Genesis going down. Fuji's actually going to initiate on top of this one. The Gauntlet does come out. Red Mist trying to keep Fuji alive, and the Solar Storm is going to take down that room. And now Love Ice Forever is going to be splitting here from Von C, but they're really, really on the wrong side of this map. Are they actually going to be able to get out of this one? I don't think so. Fuji seems to have this number. He's going to leap for it. That's going to be one. Old School is now trying to do out against Von C. He will actually get traded one for one, but it overall, it's a three for one exchange, and again, Gangstars come out on top. Yeah, we didn't get to see exactly what had happened there, but it was uh, Von C who tried to just recall in that little area before getting into the lane. Nowhere else to go. <laughs> and Love Ice for, or uh, sorry, Old School saw him there at the last second, was able to drop a Heliogenesis onto his head to prevent the recall. However, they still aren't able to get the turret. Nope. Even They're, with the ace and those minions. Yeah, Fuji will go in and steal away at least the healing camp, the front forward healing camp, just to get something off of that fight. But it's been kind of the story of this game. They're, the gold lead is definitely shrinking as Gangstars continues to win these fights, but they still just are not getting big advantages despite even picking up an ace. So a lot of traps now going down here into the middle. Wrecked, you know, uh, don't, they don't actually, they did have a flare in that bush. They don't have those traps, but it's enough. They saw the engage, ready to go. And oh. that solo storm, goodbye, Ringo. You are out of this one. And Phoenix soon to follow there as well. Von C trying to do the best for body blocking here as well, but that's going to be Catherine now. Stunning Von C. He is basically, that number is done. He is going to go down. And can we get that ace Fuji under the turret? One more hit. He can't get it. He will get it. But will the turret return the kill? I think there's too much health on Fuji. G, he will survive it. That's a 3-0. No, zero. he won't. He gets hit by the forward turret on the escape. All oh, right, they went between two, down. didn't they? That was between two turrets, and the second turret got the kill. But they Nowhere have the ace buff. It is only Ringo alive and only Ringo here to defend. They should be able to at least get some good damage onto this first turret. Finally, 13 and a half minutes that in. that crit? 468 damage. Yeah, that turret is going to be going down. Love Minion Ice candies on those frenzied minions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that turret is actually not quite down just yet. Oh, wrecked in that barrier, saving his bacon right there, so to speak. Von C, one more hut, and that's going to be the rush forward. Love Ice Forever will take that kill, and do they know where Old School is? Well, Old School's definitely been found out in that bush. A three for one. Uh, Gage will actually yield now two more kills to Von Menace. Now, this gold mine is actually fairly fat at this point. This is going to be a great steal because those candies were used on the wave. Yeah, and speaking of the wave, that turret is still standing. It has the smallest sliver of health, but the minions got distracted <laughs> by the hero, moved down into the bush, and by the time they turned back to the turret, the Vaughn minions had already gotten up there and kept them from attacking the turret. So they still have that 300 gold just sitting out there almost begging to be picked up by Gangstars. But Vaughn was able to make that comeback on that fight. They got a lot off of that, and now the gold lead has jumped back up to 1,000. Well, I would be 
I mean, that wasn't much of a fight. That was just kind of more of a massacre right there. He didn't have the full three, but now here they are. Fuji and that red mist. It's getting a lot of work done on top of Fonsi. The Conley is about to go down. Here comes the Dragon's Bend. He's going for old school in the back. The snipe off to the side. The Ringo's going to get traded out there. And again, the red mist is keeping Fuji alive. This gold miner, however, might have the difference in the strength because that Rona is no longer here. And that is it for Captain. And Fonsi did not go down. Yeah, the Kraken did just spawn at the last second there so <laughs> the, the timing on the gold spot. miner is no longer there but it's been so close these last couple fights the thing that's really surprising to me and despite von was able to win that fight despite this they only have one reflex block on the team when they've been getting hit by this gauntlet over and over and over again but i feel as these reflex blocks begin to come out for them these fights are definitely going to go in their favor their late game scaling is Phenomenal. You have so much damage from Scarp, who's actually going tanky, but with just the Broken Myth, is still able to put out immense amounts of damage. Obviously, Ringo, with the breaking point, is going to be scaling up in damage so hard as fights continue to go on. And Gangstars, they may have missed their chance to really try and put this game away by the fact that they got nothing off of their fights. Well, the gold still within 2,000 or so between these guys. Gold Miner's out, Kraken is in. Whoever takes the next set of fights could actually determine the rest of this game. Vaughn is really going hard on top of that turret. Fuji's just gonna try to make a little bit of an issue about it. He does jump in, the rest of the team was there. Old school now, right out of that bush. He finds Vonsi in his face, the gauntlet goes down, but Love Ice Forever is still going. Phoenix actually might be the first one to drop, but it's low hit points across the board here for Von Menace. They have to disengage out of this one, but Fuji is in hot pursuit. He might find that Phoenix. Love Ice Forever into the back did actually get home, but it's not going to be the same story for Phoenix. This could have still went much worse for Von Menace. They do keep their two carries alive. And that was another three-man core collapse from old school. Why do Von not have reflex blocks against this team? You have so many things that you need to put to reflex block you know you get the stun from Catherine the stun from Celeste finally the turret does go down but there's no reflex blocks and they're getting caught by these stuns over and over again well there's not going to be any action here for the Kraken but you know 17 minutes in we have been seeing a lot of these fusions coming out uh, we have actually seen now I think the double crystal fusion for Phoenix and Von C for a while uh, they've at least had two rounds of it now old school has actually picked up his as well breaking points across both boards but there's a lot of armor as well on Gangstars Vega. They're definitely putting a lot more emphasis on the threat from Love Ice Forever rather than Von C. All Von C has right now is a broken myth. And the other thing, as this fight is actually going to start up here, Fuji jumping in. Yeah, Fuji's going to jump right on top of Phoenix, but he's trying to get into the back there for Love Ice Forever. The stutter stepping and the fireballs, it's enough. They have enough move this speed to defeat this engage. Old school and crew. Old school is actually going to get hit by that. Hellfire, 480 damage, and he's burning down. Von C, if he can get one more, the Solar Storm only going to clip Love Ice Forever. Those two seem to have a love hate relationship with these ultimates, but at the same time, Von is now much more confident to engage this. Half hit points and more. Old school, here comes the Dragon's Breath. The Gauntlet's going to go down. He gets absolutely removed out of this fight. Now, Rekt is on the retreat, and Fuji is left to his own devices, and he is not going to be winning that three on one. This is a potential Kraken and already a very strong push from Von Menace could delete two or three turrets. Yeah, definitely, as this is almost certainly going to be Kraken unless Rekt makes a heroic play here, but they're just going to chase him away from this. There's no way he's going to get involved on stealing the Kraken. You know, I was going to talk about the fact that there's no real vision from Von. Right now there's one, now two scout traps on the map for Von, but apparently they don't need that vision because they just have an idea of where gangstars are at all times they and poke. just throwing yeah. out those yeah throwing out the the spitfires from scarf have been enough just to identify all right let's throw a spitfire into that okay it hit something we know that they're in there and that's how they've been getting their vision around the map we actually have two metal jackets in the game right now three metal jackets four metal jackets uh, but all right, coming back into this, I mean, that Kraken, uh, that turret is going down. Von C is just going to be low. Oh, he does not get hit by the old. Von C is actually still standing here. Phoenix is there to help him out. And well, I'm not entirely too sure Phoenix can get out of this with the Helo Genesis with those Frost Prints, the stun from Catherine. And Ringo dies off screen there as well. The gauntlet over the wall. And Phoenix will actually survive for now. But did he leave Von C to his own? He does 
down off to the side, but Von C cleans up the kill. Fuji's now going to be here. He needs to get that strike hit. Fuji actually doing it. We're looking for a Spitfire. They're going to possibly trade. No, the red missed, and the lifesteal is enough. Wrecked is the only defender. The Kraken has gone through the turret. There's going to be probably one more going down, but this is not game. Yeah, they are going to be able to take down this Kraken, especially thanks to that ace. They are full health as well. And will this Kraken take this turret? It doesn't actually look like it will be able to. So a little bit of gold into Gangstar's pockets. They able to hold off that fight. These, these fights have been so sloppy from both sides. It's been back and forth. And you know, stuns connecting onto people that should be reflex blocked. Uh, you know, f not proper targeting. It's it, there's a lot of everyone's just sort of all over the place, and it's led to this game being 19 to 20 at 20 minutes in. Only 700 gold separates these two teams. Less than a thousand. It still could go any way, but it's very grim for any kind of big upset here from Gangstars because they are down several turrets and almost that last one there as well. They basically have one full hit point turret uh, to defend that Vein Crystal and that's about it. So if we can clean this up, you can still push back this Von Menace. But if Von Menace gets any kind of leeway, their pushing comp is still gonna be going uh, way towards the Von Menace and that would be a game three. Yeah, and Wrecked is very low on it. He only has three full items completed which it's, I mean, it's actually the same for Phoenix, so it's not that bad of a situation to be in, but everyone else is looking at four or five full items. And this next fight, we're now that we're over 20 minute mark, the next fight could be the last one either way. If one team gets an ace without losing, you know, two or all three of their members as well in the process, they could easily just push down and end the game. Infusions, Infusions are being picked up. <laughs> uh, except for Shankstars. They don't have... They only have one Infusion on their team. This is not going to be good for them if a fight breaks out. Yeah, they've been holding it on Old School actually for several minutes now, several buys. But uh, Old School's going to uh, drop out of this one. Von C and crew, they're not going to find anyone here to fight in the mid. But uh, you know, we're coming to that boiling There's point now. There's those Infusions now, finally. Yeah, they need them yeah. at this point. 21 minutes in, if you're not going to go in with Infusions, then what are you doing with your cash? A lot of these guys are actually maxing out in terms of items, in terms of Tier 3. There's definitely no more slots for them to go. And Fuji, he's going to be looking here for Phoenix. They come right back into this one. That's now going to be Helo Genesis for days on top of Love Ice, but the Solar does not really connect. Love Ice is actually still going. The big silence now out. It's going to drop by a little bit of time, but Fuji cannot catch up. Now it's going to be Von C. He throws down that coop, and Fuji again, he's leading this charge, but he does get the one. He's looking for the second. The Red Mist is keeping him going, but that is two kills right there. But you cannot underestimate Von C. He's still could actually defend this turret. Yeah, you can't underestimate Von C and you can't underestimate Scarf's wave clear. They're not actually gonna be able to push in because they won't have the minions and they can't, they don't wanna go diving underneath the turret to try and get that ace to secure it. But that's still over 30 seconds of a two on one situation where they can just completely take all of this gold, picking up the minion mine there. They have both minion mines now. Kraken has respawned. Yep. There's a lot available on the map that I don't know if they want to go for the 2 one but they actually get Rex. the stun on the bond. Yeah, that, that's all it's going to be, yeah. guys. That's all it's going to be. <laughs> He's just making sure he cannot go home. There's no follow-up from Celeste, and the Rona was still way back in the, uh, the side of the map. Honest, and the thing is, if Old School had followed that up, that was a kill. That was the ace. They would have gotten that one. I, it was maybe a bit of miscommunication there from Gangstars. It was more of just an opportunity to get A plus one armor and B stop him from going anywhere. If you want to go home, you stop him. That, that's kind of the mentality there. It was just an opportunistic, that's all it was, no worries. And now, this game though, 21-21, the gold was actually pretty dead even at the back of that exchange, but because the jungle, both jungles were, be, were picked up by Gangstars, they've now edged out a little bit. Minion mines are getting captured now, we're starting to get into those big, big beefy minions, because again, turrets are gonna be the name of the game. If you can get any kind of advantage in these fights, pushing down the turrets and ending the game is the big priority. Yeah, and we are on a collision course for a huge, huge fight. And How did that not hit, Rex? <laughs> both teams are posturing up around this area. Kraken is on the map. 
Neither team wants to just let down and go for free. There's the minion mine going to be picked up here by Gangstars again. And here comes Bond. We're going to have the fight start up. Yeah, the gauntlet's going to go down. Fuji, unfortunately, does not get stunned by it, but uh, Red Mist is not doing right. Big Solar Storm goes right there, and the Ringo gets deleted. Bond C is now going to be split here from Phoenix, but Wrecked is on top of the Dragon. Phoenix, however, he's already used that gauntlet. He has no more movement speed under his belt. Can Wrecked solo out Bond C? We got the minions there as well. Those big minions are doing so much work on the little Dragon, and the core collapses could actually be the end of it. The Heliogenesis are going out, but he is gets the Done. The core collapse will bring this to an ace. Yeah, that is one minute death timers. They can finish this. The kill from Fuji. Fuji was jumped over the wall to get into the base to finish off the Phoenix there. And now they are going to be shoving in this with kid, all this three game. members. There's still 20 seconds before Love Ice Forever no, that's is game. up. I I, I can't see this not going towards Gangstar's big at this point. Fuji pushing in. Those damage crits are absolutely huge. 259, so 400 right there. These guys are still not even on the map, and all you're going to have is Love Ice forever. Three on one, all you got to do is just ignore him and go for the core, and that's exactly what they're doing. These guys are going home as the third place finalists in the NA Finals. They defeat the number one seed.